Hey oil lovers, Johanna here with um, some really good tips on how to make a roller bottle, how to make a body spray, how to fill a veggie cap, and how to fill your diffuser so that you know how to use all those amazing oils that you have in many different ways. So um, one of the ways that we like to use the oils is in a roller bottle and we can make our own roller bottles. Um, you can buy these on Amazon. This is a 10 ml size and these are great because they're a good size to last a long time and carry with you so you're not taking your big bottles of oil everywhere you go and it's just in a convenient little blend for you. Um, so what you can do is you take your roller bottle or or your spray bottle, we're gonna talk about in just a minute, um, and you can basically just take your oil, turn it over at a 45 degree angle, and just watch the drops go in, just like that. And I recommend following a recipe. There's tons of recipes on the Oil Lovers page and on, um, I mean, just Pinterest or you can Google anything uh, and fill your roller bottles with a recipe really easy to just put your drops in then take your fractionated coconut oil and just fill the rest of it to all the way to the top um, put your roller bottle on the top your roller top and then put your lid on and then give it a good um, couple turns and then you'll have your roller bottle blend that you um, can take anywhere with you just makes it really convenient and easy to go for your body sprays, um, this is a two ounce size spray bottle. Um, this is my Owie spray for my kiddos. So you can do the same thing. You just take the lid off. Again, you can find these on Amazon. They're not very expensive. Um, you know, anywhere from 50 cents to a um, dollar. And then again, you just take your oils and you just 45 degree angle, put it in there. And fill and along with that just follow a recipe so your oils are in there then for your spray bottles often it's really good to um, you can either fill with fractionated coconut oil sometimes you you can just fill with water and then when you use that one just give it a good shake also witch hazel depending upon the recipe that you're following it'll recommend using a certain carrier to fill the rest of it but that's a great way to have your oils in a convenient spray on and let's see your veggie cap so a veggie cap is just a simple little capsule it comes apart into two pieces like this um, you have a tall one and a short one you're gonna put your oils in the tall one okay and again 45 degree angle drop 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 right in there click the top right on like that and then swallow it right then and there. Um, always a good idea to take your oils right before some food, um, just to make sure everything settles really well. But you can get your veggie caps. Um, again, you could probably find these anywhere, but doTERRA has them, they're really inexpensive. You, for $4, you can get 160 of them. And so that's another great way to utilize your oils internally, so you don't necessarily have to taste them, but you can benefit from them. And then that brings us to your diffuser. So you can take your diffuser. Um, this is the doTERRA Lumo. And um, with almost all diffusers, they're going to have a fill point. So you can see the little red dot right here. So you'll want to fill the, with water to that point. Most diffusers won't run very well if they're filled above that. So you want to make sure that you're just filling to that um, little dot or there's usually it'll be like a fill line if there's something on the outside of your diffuser uh, and then you can either put your oils in your oil drops in before you fill with water and then fill it with water or you can put them in after put your water in there put your drops on top pop the top on and then you're just you just turn it on and you're good to go so um, different diffusers have different amounts as far as um, how many drops to put in. The longer that it runs, um, the more drops they recommend putting in. So for this one, I would put probably anywhere from six to 10 drops. This one, if I'm putting on the 10, um, the 10 hours with intermittent dispersion, um, anywhere from six to 10 drops. In a smaller diffuser, probably three to six drops. 
but again it can just be based upon what you're wanting how strong you're wanting it to be what you're wanting to utilize that oil for in your diffuser um, but really easy to just put it in there and you're good to go all right i hope that these tips have been helpful to you and i hope that you pull out your oils and you um, use them in a way you haven't used them before and uh happy oiling